Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Ta programa ta amas prosfero de se poles glosses para calume dite suprememastertv.com cathetos schedule. Positive Changes in Countries brings you uplifting news and developments from around the world. Please tune in to Positive Changes in Countries, part 42 of a multi-part series. Reliable Governments, Reliable Citizens, Mongolia, Montenegro, Morocco. No to vegan? Because you live just to eat no? Anything, even a dead carcass? Hi, Enkma. Oh, hi, Luca and Salma. What are you thinking about? Well, I'm disheartened with all the troubling news in our world about climate change, diseases, wars, and natural disasters. Yeah, I wonder how we got here. But there is a solution, and it might be easier than we think. A solution? I'm reading this book called Love is the Only Solution. Love is the only solution. Yeah, by best-selling author, our beloved Supreme Master Chiu Hai. Here, read this part. Love is the greatest thing in life and the greatest thing in the entire universe. We must love even our enemies, our neighbors, animals, and the environment around us. Then we can overcome the crisis and have a peaceful life. Love can't be talked about, but must be shown through action. This is to be vegan, do good, and protect the environment. I am deeply moved. Me too. I can't wait to read the book and learn more. Yes, there is hope. Let's be bringers of good news for our viewers today. I would love that. We've got positive news from each of our countries to share. Enkma, please start the show. All right. I'll tell you all about the hopeful news from my country. Follow me. Mongolia. Sehamrsno is... Did you rest well in Mongolian? My name is Inkma. The people of Mongolia wish that your inner light shines more brightly every day. Mongolia is a vast inland country located between Russia and China. With a population of about 3 million people, Mongolia has many wide expanses of grassy steppes and sky. The gear is the traditional structure for the nomadic Mongolians. I heard your government has made inspiring changes for education. During the COVID-19 crisis, the Mongolian government introduced new ways of teaching and learning to ensure the continuity of education for children. Digital curriculums were developed for all education levels. Learning materials were also tailored for children with disabilities, those in nomadic communities, and even children of non-Mongolian-speaking minorities. The Ministry of Education also collaborated with Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, to provide visually impaired children with an e-book digital system called DAISY. With entire textbooks available as e-books, the smartphone-sized player makes learning fun and teachers have the satisfaction of knowing that their visually impaired students have all the learning materials they need to advance in their studies. The Mongolian government is also encouraging farmers to grow vegetables for greater national self-sufficiency and food security. Along with financial incentives, 
Irrigation networks are being upgraded to ensure climate resilience for vegetable growing. These measures are expected to significantly increase income in rural areas, as well as provide better supplies of locally grown vegetables. On another subject, what new trends are happening? Lastly, with the prevailing plant-based trend around the world, the Mongolian vegan population is also growing rapidly. According to happycow.net, in the capital city Ulaanbaatar alone, there are 22 veggie restaurants, 17 of which are fully vegan. Bravo, Mongolia, for the peace-loving changes. Thank you for great news, Enkma. It is my honor. We can all honor our religious traditions with cruelty and animal-free halal foods. Halal means permitted by Muslim law. Sada, vegan. Let's go enjoy some fragrant Mongolian tea. Yes, please. We'll be right back with good news from my country, Montenegro. So please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Positive Changes in Countries, Part 42, on Supreme Master Television. Montenegro Zdravo is hello in the Montenegrin language. Zdravo. My name is Luca. Montenegrins wish you the everlasting peace and glory of God. Montenegro is a small Eastern European country bordered by Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and the Adriatic Sea. Nicknamed the Jewel of the Adriatic, Montenegro boasts picturesque mountainous terrain, breathtaking beaches and turquoise sea waters, forested gorges, gushing streams and medieval fortresses. This gorgeous country is home to 630,000 Montenegrins of diverse multi-ethnic backgrounds. In an action that saved countless bird people's lives, the benevolent government of Montenegro stopped a commercial development plan at a large regional nature park. Ulcin Salina is home to spectacular flocks of over 250 different types of bird people, including Dalmatian pelicans and greater flamingos. Thanks to the advocacy of various nature conservation organizations and the cooperation of the government of Montenegro, these beautiful bird people will continue to thrive in their paradise home. I heard there is also wonderful news about saving the ocean. Montenegro and Albania joined the ADRINET or Adriatic Network for Marine Ecosystem Program to remove ghost nets from the seabed of the Mediterranean. These lost nets not only create huge amounts of plastic contaminant, they also harm many marine animal people. Part of the removal effort involves estimating how long the nets have been on the seabed. This is essential in assessing if the removal would cause secondary damage to newly established ecosystems around the nets. The initiative also aims to educate people that early reporting of lost nets is critical for their timely removal. What an excellent example of international cooperation in marine conservation. Montenegro commits to developing green energy against climate change 
and has pledged to phase out its coal-fired power plants by 2035. To make use of its great potential in hydro, wind and solar electricity, a special grant and loan program has been launched to make energy-efficient renovations and rooftop solar panel installations affordable. The majority state-owned power utility has also announced a plan to invest approximately 1.1 billion US dollars within five years to boost annual renewable electricity production to 2,000 gigawatt hours. We applaud Montenegro for your virtuous actions to uplift the world. Thank you, Luca. It was my pleasure. Salma, the show is all yours. Kingdom of Morocco Salama alaikum means hello in Darija, which is the language spoken in my country. Salam alaikum. My name is Salma. Moroccans wish you joyful enlightenment in your beautiful hearts. The Kingdom of Morocco is situated on the northwestern corner of the African continent where African, Arabian, and European cultures merge. Bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west and the Mediterranean Sea on the north, Morocco is graced with nearly 3,000 kilometers of coastline. Offering diverse landscapes from the vast Sahara Desert to the verdant High Atlas Mountains, charming beaches, and beautiful palaces and mosques in its marvelous imperial cities, Morocco is a top touring destination in the region. The University of Al Qaravin in Fez, Morocco, founded in 859 AD, is recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's oldest university. Morocco is one of the leading countries in climate action. Morocco has initiated several large-scale projects to expand wind, solar, and hydropower capacity. These include the Nur Verzezet complex, one of the world's largest concentrated solar power plants. As of 2020, 37% of Morocco's installed electricity capacity was in renewables. Morocco has since further pledged to increase renewables in its electricity mix to 52% by 2030. The plant-based lifestyle is also becoming more prominent in Morocco. The vegan organization Veg Morocco has been passionately promoting the life-saving plant-based lifestyle. Each year, Veg Morocco hosts the international festival Veg Fest Morocco and has also launched a project to distribute free vegan meals to vulnerable communities in major cities. Mmm, I'm hungry. Interestingly, many dishes in traditional Moroccan cuisine happen to be vegan, including couscous, plant-based stews called tagines, and Moroccan salads. In addition, an assortment of vegan products such as vegan cheese, vegan mayonnaise and vegan pea protein burgers are now available in cities across Morocco. HappyCow.net lists 137 veg-friendly restaurants in Morocco. Vegan touring in Morocco could never be easier than today. Fantastic news! A vegan world is a peaceful world. We applaud Morocco for the excellent progress. Thank you. Vegan or survival in the Eastern Age again. Enlightened viewers, it's been a pleasure having you with us today. Next is Energy Radiating into Our Planet, part four of four on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master of Television. May your lives flourish in peace and happiness with the realization of a vegan world. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash PCC.